topical finasteride and dutasteride. Do they actually work? So in my previous video on this that has had over a million views on all platforms, thank you very much guys, we did conclude that in fact these topicals do actually work in regrowing hair. Not only this, we also found that there was a lot less drug in the plasma, which means a lot less of the active ingredients in your body. And this significantly decreased the amount of DHT that was lowered. So patients who were taking the medication topically, not only did they get their hair back, but they also had a lot fewer side effects. And if you're new here and you don't know exactly what these side effects are, well, they're mainly sexual in nature and consist of low libido, low mood, and erectile dysfunction. And as we always say, what's the point of having hair if your dick doesn't work? But the question I've gotten the most since I released this video over a year ago was, Doc, which topical should I use? Are all these topical brands made equal? And honestly, I didn't really have an answer until now. So after a lot of research, one particular brand did stand out to me just because of their science-backed approach and superior technology. And today we're gonna delve into the data behind this brand and why I think it's superior to everything else that's on the market. So if you've been researching hair loss for a while now, I'm almost certain you've come across this brand. The name is Zion Health. And Dr. Eric and I had the great pleasure of actually meeting and sitting with the CEO and co-founder of this company, Dr. Simon Pimson, who is a physician himself. They took us through all their data and today I'm going to break it down and try share it with you so you can make an informed decision on what you want to put in your body. Now, one of the major issues with these topicals were that some patients who are extremely sensitive to the actions of these drugs still experience side effects even from topical application. And the reason for this is that a significant amount of the drug still gets absorbed systemically through the scalp. And this is where Zion, with their patented technology, actually make a difference. Now, Zion has patented a silicone-based solvent that they call the siloxis system in their topical. And how this works is that this siloxis silicone system creates a mesh that allows the drug only to penetrate to the level of the hair follicle and the hair root. Furthermore, they have used these nanoparticles called liposomes to deliver the drug directly to the root of the hair. Now, what this is all meant to do is act as a barrier to systemic absorption and make sure that systemic DHT is not lowered, but DHT is only lowered at the level of the hair follicle in the scalp. Not only is there less absorption, this mechanism also helps the drug stay in contact with the area for a lot longer than any other topicals on the market, which means either you can use it less, which makes compliance a lot easier, or it's just more effective with less side effects. So in summary, it's meant to be more effective and give a lot less side effects. Now this all sounds amazing, but what does the data say? Now there were two different studies that I managed to find. One was an in vitro trial. That means that it was tested in a lab, not on human subjects. And another was an in vivo trial where this stuff was actually tested on live human patients. Both these studies were done at the University of Milan's pharmacology department by independent labs. So pretty much what they did is something called a Franz cell test. And what this is, is they have one chamber and separating the one chamber from the other chamber is a small piece of human epithelium. And they measured the amount of chemical that passes through the epithelium into the secondary chamber. And they measured their product against a whole host of other very common topicals that are online today. And you can see the results on the graph that the drug that was using the siloxis system had a lot less absorption as compared to the other topical solutions that they used. So this was promising evidence that potentially their patented delivery mechanism actually works. And as you can see on the graph, only about 0.6 micrograms of the finasteride was absorbed into the receptor chamber in comparison with 1.5 micrograms and 4 micrograms respectively from the other topical solutions. They also conducted an in vitro study on a pig's ear to test the retention of the drug after 24 hours. And the results were quite astounding as they found that the patented siloxis system stayed and remained on the tissue at 10 times greater concentrations 
than all of the other topicals that they compared to. Now this is interesting because it could potentially mean that you could use this topical not every day but once every two days, once every three days potentially. And that makes compliance a whole lot easier because the hardest thing about these medications is actually taking it, remembering to do it every day. Now let's look at the more relevant study, the in vivo trial conducted on real life patients. Now how they conducted this study is that they took 10 live healthy patients that had quite a strict exclusion criteria and if you guys want to nerd out and, and see the study itself, I'll put a link to it below. So basically what they did is they divided these patients into two groups. One group that was treated with the topical Siloxa system and another group who was either taking one milligram of oral finasteride or 0.5 milligrams of oral jutasteride, which is the going dose. So before anyone started taking the medications, they measured their serum dihydrotestosterone levels and also their serum levels of finasteride and jutasteride, which were obviously zero to start off with because one of the exclusion criteria was that, that you were not allowed to be on any sort of 5-alpha reductase inhibitor for at least a month. So these patients were treated with this patented Siloxa system of either jutasteride or finasteride for at least a month in order for the drug to reach steady state. So after a month, they took blood tests from both the control group and the group that was treated with the topical siloxis finasteride. And these were the results. So plasma levels of finasteride, which is the amount of the drug in your body, for the patients taking the oral were 9 nanograms per mil. And plasma levels of finasteride for the patients who use the topical siloxa system were 0.75 nanograms per mil. So that's over a 10x reduction in plasma levels from oral. What's really interesting is the amount of systemic dihydrotestosterone reduction. Now, as you can see, with the oral 1 milligram per day, DHT was reduced by 70% from baseline. But with the siloxa system, it was reduced by 30%. So even though there was 10 times less drug in your body, it still reduced DHT by 30% from baseline. Obviously, it's a lot better than the oral, but still quite significant. For me, the topical jutasteride was the most intriguing because for a long time we've postulated that topical jutasteride might have less systemic absorption because of its inherently larger molecular size. Now, if you look at the serum concentrations of jutasteride, oral versus topical siloxa system, you'll see that with oral jutasteride, the plasma concentration was 27 nanograms per mil, while with the topical, it was 1 nanogram per mil, which is a 27x reduction in plasma levels, oral versus topical. And not surprisingly, we see how potently oral jutasteride inhibits dihydrotestosterone in the body, as we can see a 90% reduction of DHT from baseline with the oral. And with the topical siloxis jutasteride, we only see a 20% reduction in DHT from baseline. Now, jutasteride is the more potent 5-alpha reductase inhibitor, and it has less DHT effect than finasteride. Now, obviously, this all sounds fantastic, and I will say that the people at Zion are real professionals who are dedicated to this work. But here are my criticisms of the studies, and the product itself. So firstly, the trials. I'd like to see more subjects enrolled into these trials so we can get even more data because this was only done on 10 patients. Secondly, the subjects were only compared to oral jutasteride and finasteride and I'd like some studies to be done against other topicals in the market. So taking blood levels from people using this patented siloxa system to blood levels of people using other brands of topicals. Now the product itself, currently, as far as I'm aware, it's only available in the USA or Canada. So if you're anywhere else in the world, sorry for you. And lastly, this stuff doesn't come cheap as it's quite a lot more expensive than your other topicals on the market. So it may be unaffordable to a lot of patients. But all in all, I will say that this is the most robust data I've seen from any company selling topical, 5-ARI solutions on the market. 
Not to mention that another co-founder of this company is Dr. Victor Hassan from Hassan and Wong in Vancouver, Canada, which is one of the most famous hair transplant clinics in the world. And interestingly, they have now changed their practice and their first line for all patients is not oral jutasteride or finasteride, it's this patented Siloxis system topical jutasteride and finasteride. And guys, I always take conflicts of interest seriously and for the past three years that I've been recording content, I've never ever endorsed a company. So when I do so, I truly believe in it myself. I really do believe that Zion is doing some innovative work in this field and I've gotten some real positive feedback from actual patients. If you guys are interested in trying this product, we do have a discount code that you're welcome to use. And guys, if you made it this far in the video, I want you to please like it, subscribe, and ask us questions. We love it when you ask us questions. And let me know what you think is the best topical product on the market.